Welcome back to another episode of Horror Theory. It was a dark and stormy night when Emily and her friends Rachel and Thomas arrived at Blackwood Manor. The old mansion had been abandoned for years, but Emily had always been fascinated by its quietness and eerie beauty. She convinced her friends to come along on a ghost hunt, hoping to capture some evidence of the supernatural. As they stepped inside the beautiful mansion, Emily felt a chill run down her spine. The air was thick with an otherworldly energy, and she sensed that they were not alone. She tried to brush off the feeling and led her friends deeper into the house. They searched every room, calling out to any spirits who might be listening. But when they got no response, they were a bit disappointed. The only sound that they heard was wind howling from outside. Emily was pretty disappointed, but Rachel and Thomas were relieved. They were just about to leave when they heard a strange noise coming from upstairs. Emily's heart raced as they climbed the creaky staircase, her flashlight trembling in her hand. They followed the sound to a dusty old bedroom, where they found a portrait of a young woman hanging on the wall. As they gazed at the painting, they heard a whisper in their ears. Be aware, the voice said. Leave this place before it's too late. Emily's blood ran cold. She knew they had stumbled upon something truly terrifying. But she couldn't shake the feeling that they had to stay a little longer. They had come all this way and she couldn't leave without some proof of the paranormal. As they continued their investigation, they heard more and more voices, each one warning them to leave, but Emily was determined to uncover the truth. She refused to be scared off by a few ghostly whispers. It wasn't until they reached the basement that they found what they were looking for. There, in a corner, was a dusty old trunk. When they opened it, they found a collection of old letters and photographs detailing a tragic love affairs that had taken place many years ago. Emily's heart sank as she read the letters. She knew that the woman in the portrait was the same one whose love had been lost. But as she tried to close the trunk, she found that she couldn't. Something was holding it open, something that didn't want her to leave. Suddenly, the room grew cold and Emily could feel a presence behind her. She turned around to see the ghostly figure of the woman from the portrait, her eyes filled with sadness, anger and tears. You should have listened to my warning, the ghostly figure said. Now, you are trapped here with me forever. Emily and her friends screamed as the door slammed shut, trapping them inside the beautiful mansion. They knew that they had made a great mistake and now they would pay the price for their curiosity. The three of them were locked inside the mansion forever, never to be found by anyone else.